Hey guys welcome back to my channel this is Kanika and in this video i shall be sharing a quick and easy card tutorial that is the birthday card this video is in collaboration with joyful creation so do check her channel as well if you want to learn how to make cash cards so let's get started so first of all i'll be creating the base of the card using my dress my craft floral oriental paper and i will be making the base of the size 5 and a half inches by 4 1/4 inches now using my score board i'll just score the line at the center and i use this dress my craft score board as i just love this tool it has this notch which gives perfect and crisp lines so it is easy for me to get the score lines and now i'll be just using my pattern paper i am using today this in my hearts pattern paper from dress my craft and for the base i will be using this sheet from the pattern pack and i'll be trimming off this sheet as per my card base i am just trimming and here you can see it just fits exactly like i want and now i am using my momento ink in the shade love letter and i am just distressing the edges of the card base as well as i'll distress the edges of my pattern paper also you can use any kind of ink which is available with you be it distress distress oxide or archival or any other as well i had this which was going perfect with my background so i used this one base just has texture so i wanted to add a little more effect so i'm using my another ink and i'm using my script stamp and i am just randomly stamping on my background so that the base looks a little bit more like what i want and now using the same blue shade i'm just distressing the edges Uh, make sure that if you are trying this out you are just distressing a little bit as we have already used the love letter color so i want just the edges to get distressed a little bit so i am using this one now i am just going to die cut the base so for the shaker card i'm using this pattern paper and i have already die cutted the base and now using my glossy accents i'm just layering up my pattern paper with my acetate sheet and then i'll be adding some shaker elements to my base instead of using white cardstock you can as well use your black cardstock i wanted to use the white one so now using my tacky glue i'm just adhering this base of pattern paper onto my card stock now i am using this 4 mm 3d foam tape if you want you can use like how i am using in the one go but if you are not comfortable using like this you can cut apart your foam tape and add that as well now i am going to add some shaker elements so first of all i am using this flower pearls from dress my craft these uh, this is the mixed size and i have the white and the pink so i am just uh, using my spoon and just adding these pearls to my shaker element next i am also using this sparkling dust from dress my craft to add a little bit glitter to my shaker element Now I'm just removing the backing of the foam tape and then I'll just adhere the base of the shaker element to this top portion. Mm -hmm. 
Tada! Our Shea Cook is ready. Now I am going to start layering my card. So I have this Bodhavish sentiment I have cut out and now using the love letter memento ink I am just colouring so that everything goes as per my theme. I am using this golden textured pattern paper from the same paper bag and I am just trimming this off uh, as I want to make a banner for the center portion so I am just trimming this off so it was a little big size as I wanted so I'm just again trimming this off to make the perfect size as I wanted so now on the back side of my pattern paper I had made this triangle and now I'm just trimming this off using my scissors to make it like to make it look like a banner Now I am just placing all the things and I am just layering so that I have an idea how my card will look like before I adhere all the things to my base. And now I was happy with the arrangement so I have started adhering all the things to the base. So the first thing I am adhering is this banner which I created. If you don't want to use tacky glue, you can as well use your tacky tape, the red tacky tape. Next, I am going to adhere this shaker element. And to adhere this sentiment, I am using my 3D foam tape. I am using the 4mm size, you can also use your 6mm or 8mm size but I had this one handy so I am using 2 layers of the 4mm size. just placing it but I am not applying pressure to adhere this properly as I want to add these flowers in the feathers as well so I am just going to add these flowers and feathers to the base if required then I'll add the glue as I need to make sure that everything settles perfectly so for now the base is done next step what i am going to do is i have used this in my heart's motive sheet and using this sheet i have cut out these flowers and then i have this white twine which i got as well from crafters corner and i have made some half-sided bows and now i am adhering these bows using my hot glue gun This video is in collaboration with Joyful Creations so if you want to know how to make cast cards do check her channel as well. Now to just finish up my project and give the final touch I am using these water droplets and I am using glossy accents to adhere these randomly onto my base. After this, I'll just add this full layer to the base. So I'm using my tacky glue and I'm adding the tacky glue on the back side of the 
pattern paper and now i'm just going to stick this onto my card base and that's it we are done i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you really did then do hit the like button also don't forget to subscribe to our channel see you until next time happy crafting